Hey YouTube, welcome back. And I've got something special to show you boaters. Um, it takes a lot to impress me with a product and a buddy of mine brought these over because I'm building him a boat trailer and I told him that, you know, he needed to get his hubs and all that. And he brings me these Vortex hubs. And this, these are pretty cool. You're gonna to wanna to check them out. So here's what we're doing today, guys. We're building these axles because I need to locate my wheel so I can build the fenders for this trailer. And my buddy brings me Vortex trailer hubs. He's like, oh yeah, they're the best. Have you ever heard of them? No, nope, no I haven't. Well, I open the box and as you can see, it's got Dexter written all over it. Well, Dexter makes good shit. They just really do. Um, the problem is, when you go to buy trailer hubs, they're universal. They're made for utility trailers, okay? So they don't have a double marine seal in the back, you know, just a standard stamp cap on the front. If you're a Grease Buddy fan or Bearing Buddy fan, you know, you, you got to have those extra. You got to have the, the double inner seal, you know, so you got to drive out to stock one. By the time you spend $50 on the hub and, and bearing kit, you know, no matter where you get it, you got to spend another $12 and another, what, 30 bucks or whatever for the Baron Buddies. So, yeah, you, you've got all that time and money invested. What Dexter is always good about is lubrication of their hubs. If you have Dexter axles, then you know that there is a weep hole in the, uh, oh, in the axle shaft itself, okay, and there is a zert fitting on the end of the shaft. Well, these axles, even though they're not Dexter, have that because they, they're made with Dexter stub shafts, I believe. But these hubs also, whether, you're, whether your stock hubs have them or not, have a zert fitting right here on the inner portion of this hub. And that's just awesome. Now, what I like even more Let's just, uh, let's just get one out of the box and look at it. So I'm not terribly uh, a numbers guy for that matter, but this product claims 100,000 miles or a six-year warranty. That's, that's impressive. It's got Lucas Oil in it. Okay. Um, I like Lucas. They make great stuff. Um, the kit also includes, you know, all your bearings, seals, removable dust cap, um, a spare cotter key and lug nuts so it's pretty awesome I mean it really is now this one that we have here um, is for three quarter ton or I'm sorry a 3500 pound axle so inch and a sixteenth on the outer inch and three eighths on the inner and an inch and what 0 0.71 or inch and three quarter um, inner bearing uh, seal so you can see pack of the marine grease all ready to go this inner I, I'm not 100% sure I, I looked I didn't find any literature on it but it has a, a pressed on um, plastic cap okay now your your inner seal is in there normal but the inner portion of the hub has a plastic cap and there's a groove ring around there that keeps that in place once you start putting grease on there if you're like me you overdo it yeah guilty okay so you know maybe five or six shots is good but you say you put a dozen because you're not quite sure if the grease gun is working or whatever well the number one failure at that point is going to be your inner seal because it's just pressed in and if that seal doesn't allow grease to come out and it doesn't allow air pockets or whatever in there to come out, then once this heats up and that grease begins to expand a little bit, it just pushes the seal out. So this cap being a snap on fixture is meant to stay on the hub when you assemble it and it is meant to hold that inner seal in position just a little bit longer. And that's a big deal. So another thing that sets this hub apart from standard hubs is this right here. 
Now, I know why you're a bearing buddy fan, so you can have that Zert fitting. I get it. I am. But that spring-loaded open end can also trap moisture. And even a metal cap that you drive in can hold moisture. Generally don't. It generally seals up pretty well, and just the outer portion holds moisture. So no broke-down grease generally gets in the bearing. But in the name of technology, check this out. So the best possible hub that you can get would be an oil bath. However, oil bath generally fail, okay? Because of the seals, before you know it, the oil starts to seep out. And if you don't pay attention to what you're doing, well, you don't have lubrication in there. So sticking with a grease style hub is the best. However, there's all kinds of different ways for failure. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is it is plastic. Now, it is a very heavy plastic, but as you can see, it has a high quality um, O-ring on there designed for petroleum products, and this is a threaded cap. So, a, a large, where's my, uh, where's my adjustable at? So, pretty much a large adjustable okay just just to snug it down don't tighten it i mean a little overhand tight's enough but so to wrap it up this product is actually brought to you by tie down you know high quality uh marine parts for your boat trailer and things of that nature and all trailers for that matter it's called a vortex hub and i'm sure it comes in a couple sizes the ones i have here today are for 3500 pounds but i'm sure they make other ones as well um but even though it says tie down a vortex on it and it's got Lucas grease in it, the Dexter emblem is all over this product. So, hey, I like all of those name brands and I like all the ingenuity that has went into this product. And even though I've not even driven it down the road yet, I'm going to recommend it because it's that good. So, Check them out. I guarantee you this is going to save your butt, whether you appreciate it or not. Every time you pull in the driveway, well, hey, you made another trip and another week that you didn't have to maintenance your trailer hub, right? So we all know how that goes. Life gets in the way all the time, and there's the boat, and I know where the lake's at. So instead of working on it, I'm just going to take it and, and pray that it works, right? <laughs> well, I think this is going to be some cheap insurance. Yeah, it's going to cost you a little bit more than a standard trailer hub, but this one's actually built for marine use, and if you're like me, you like using your marine stuff all the time. So I'm going to get back into this trailer build. If you guys need anything, Trailer-wise, go ahead and check out my playlist on my channel. We'll put a link in the description after a while. And, yeah, fabrication, boat builds, trailer builds, wiring, okay, trailer maintenance, and uh, maybe some more stuff coming real soon. So don't get, forget to like and subscribe, ring that bell, and, uh, yeah, man, be safe out there. We'll see you on the water.